Hello, everybody. Today is Wednesday, March 16th. It's 4.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The E-mini S&P is trading at 2017 and a quarter, approximately. And we have the time and sales here. And if I scroll the chart all the way to the right, we can um, see uh, the prices here. Uh, quite a great day uh, for the auto trader today. A lot of volatility in the market. Before I begin, first the required disclaimer. Okay, the first chart we have to show you uh, today is the E-mini S&P on the Superenco 8 tick, and that had four trades, a very small loser, maybe about a tick here, and then three winners, and it did uh, 14.75 for the day. So it obviously hit its profit goal of 1500. This is on two contracts. So there was quite a bit of volatility today. I believe it was a Fed announcement as the market uh, broke out around 2 p.m. as you can see here. It was also the uh, crude oil inventory announcement day and the uh, chart here is the crude oil on the Superenco 7 tick. We've shown this many, many times. And this hit its goal in a single trade on two contracts and actually exited the market uh, before the announcement, which I believe is at 1030. So crude oil hitting its goal on, on the Superenco 7 tick, the goal is only 1200. Okay, so I've been trading several different charts on the E-mini S&P Superenco 4 tick using the line break logic. And this one starts trading at 235. And uh, due to the volatility today, all the E-mini S&P Superenco 4 ticks hit its goal. This, this one did it in essentially three or four trades so you can see kind of small loser here this was a break even then a big winner here and then uh, one at the very end so quite a good performance there okay this chart was traded live in my account and there was two small losers and then a winner and then it went long right before the uh, announcement at two o'clock and I was watching this and I was very tempted to close the trade as I thought it was going to sell off. And then I realized that there was announcement coming. And as I was watching this, I, all of a sudden the volume dried up to practically nothing. And then the announcement hit. And you can see on the, the time axis here, if we look at the entry of the trade, it was about 20 minutes to 2. And then this pullback right here was at 2 o'clock. And then the market just, I was watching this and I was literally break even and all of a sudden you can see on the time axis here all these bars occurred at exactly two o'clock and then finally uh, two o'clock and two seconds here so so price just burst out here and I had a profit target that was hit here at 20 ticks and then obviously the volatility of the market gave me uh, a whole, looks like about a point and a half of slippage as my goal was 750. So, so literally had a couple of points of slippage in this market action. So it stopped trading at 650. I thought about trading again because the volatility was good, which is why some of these other E-mini S&P Super Inc. 04 ticks are beginning late in the afternoon because I just wanted to see what would happen in the ongoing volatility and of course that worked out but I basically stopped and was happy with a profit of 650 on two contracts for the day as yesterday I had gotten stopped out so I, I was happy to recover most of it today okay next up is the crude oil contract on the Superenco 10 tick and this is also trading the line break logic 
and uh, this did $640 on two contracts in a single trade, as you can see here. Okay, next up is the gold contract, and that had a number of trades today, kind of, here's the beginning of the equity curve, so actually not too bad of a drawdown. It looks like it only drew down about $200 maybe, and then it kind of also looks like it hit its goal here towards the end of the day. The goal is only a thousand, so indeed it, it did hit its goal, and that happened right about the uh, two o'clock hour. Okay, another chart of the e mini SP, which I turned on at the start time for this, is 12 30. So it did not take a trade until 10 minutes to 3. And with the good volatility today, it hit its goal. It had seven winners and one loser and hit its goal of, I believe this one is uh, 725 with a loss limit of 650. Okay, this is another uh, e mini SP Superinco 4 tick trading the line break logic. And this one uh, starts trading at 1030. And it had a little bit of a drawdown of about $300 and then came back to hit its goal. And that was also um, helped by the uh, volatility after the market announcement. Okay, so back to the chart that was actually traded live with real money today. This was the e mini S&P Superinco 4 tick, and when you're trading live, the border is yellow and not red. Okay, that's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more about the BWT Precision Auto Trader, please visit our website, have a look around, or send us an email to systems at Blue Wave Trading, or give us a call at the number on the website. Thanks for watching today.